Hey comic collectors, welcome to Hidden Gem Wednesdays, number 12.5, baby. Uh, so first of all, um, shoot, I practiced this like 30 times before I started the stream and I just completely forgot. Um, okay, so this is going to be a regular Hidden Gem Wednesday, aside from the fact that it's going to be a, a aside from the fact that it's Thursday. So I just did a Hidden Gem Wednesday yesterday. Um, but basically, we just, my LCS just acquired a, um, just acquired a pretty large collection that I've been waiting to show you guys, and I'm super excited. I got to look through all of it today, just came in, and it was so much fun, and I'm just so excited to share with you the keys and cool stuff I found. Now, before we get into everything, um... We're doing hidden. We're doing um, shoutouts for every hidden gem Wednesday we do. All right, so I got an Excel sheet here. I've already shouted out one channel, Arcade Pop. Did that um, yesterday for hidden gem Wednesday number twelve. Next one on the list is Newbie Comics. All right, um, Newbie Comics has been um, crushing it with the live streams. He's streaming every Sunday. Um, let me copy this link here. So yeah, he's streaming every Sunday, and the thing about his channel is that he act he like gives stuff like that like we like I I don't know I don't know how to explain it, but he he's, he has such an awesome channel. He's got awesome uh, uh, panel members, uh, but yeah, it's a fun time on their streams. Um, so yeah, go if I mean if you're not subscribed to Newbie Comics, then I don't. You must be living under a rock or something, man. Like where have you been? Like he's already at two thousand subscribers. Go subscribe to Newbie Comics and make sure you tell that. Make sure you tell him that Hidden Jump Comics sent you. All right. Anyways, that is another one off the list. I'll fill that in later. Now. If you don't know what Hidden Gem Wednesdays is, then obviously you must be living under a rock because we're already at 12.5, baby. Um, so we go over my LCS pickups, and then we also go over the Hidden Gems. Now, if you're not aware, I work at my LCS. Um, I price back issues for them, and I deal with some of the collections that people bring in. So I'll, I'll pick out the keys, um, and we will um, basically give them a price for how much we're going to buy the keys for, and also a base price for all the non-keys. So let's say um, we picked out five um, super expensive keys, like Secret Wars 8, ASM 361, stuff like that. Then we'll give them a price for that to buy, and we'll also give them, uh, let's say they have 20 like random issues of um, Spider-Man that's not very expensive. We'd give them, like, I don't know, maybe a buck... 40 for each issue of that so anyways sorry I kind of went too into depth about that but anyways um basically let's start off with my pickups so first of all I bought um Incredible Hulk number 318 uh for six dollars that is one issue closer to completing the Incredible Hulk run got my index card with all my uh issues there I'm coming up close to 20% of the way. Um, and the last thing I bought was another one of these wacky packages. Uh, so I bought three of them yesterday. Um, they're all in there. I put them back in there, but I bought three. Um, and I figured it'd be fun to uh, unpack another one. So we'll unpack this at the end of the stream. Um, so definitely, if you're watching this, please stick around so that we can unbox this, all right? That's all I bought. Let's just jump right into the hidden gems, shall we? Boom, boom. All right. So, if you're just joining us now, my LCS just acquired a large collection that I've been waiting to share with you. So, here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 short boxes and one unorganized random box there. Also... May you note, I just got a new chair, so it's super comfy, and uh, yeah, so 
My other chair has been broken for so long. It was, it's so old, dude. It's so old. I've, I've had that thing for like, oh my gosh, forever, dude. So it's just so nice to get a new chair. Sorry that I just kind of interrupted that, but let's get back to the hidden gems here, shall we? Um, yeah, so that's that. We've got a few videos to go through. I took a few videos of me flipping through comics and picking out some of the keys. So this one here is 22 seconds long. Uh, here we go. Oh, shoot. Uh, you can't hear the... Uh... Okay, you should be able to hear it now, actually. It doesn't really matter, though. Tons of X, X Factor here. X Factor. Oh, there's X Force. Second appearance of Deadpool. There we go. Second appearance of Deadpool. Force number one. Number one. There we go. More X Force and some other X titles. Um, next up is another video, 52 seconds long. Let's just jump right into it. So tons of uncanny X Men here. Okay. I said lots of X issues, X titles. Oh. There we go, you got a first uh, um, bishop there. Also pulled out the second appearance as well. Uh, lots of doubles and triples of um, issues. So. Oh. Venom number one, baby. Check that out. Nice. Yeah, nice. Clean copy. Two, three, and four. Okay, five. Number two, three, four, and five. Also, tons of web of Spider-Man. Um, cool issues, and the rest of this is what ifs and Wolverines. I'm pretty sure. And one Wonder Wonder Man. Uh, and we got five people watching right now. What's up, five people? How's it going? We're going through the hidden gems. Uh, what's up, Jager One Hundred One? What's up, man? How's it going? Here we go. Okay. Um. So she actually um, had a ton, she drew a ton of um, different like image characters and she drew like a Spidey on there and everything. Uh, but yeah, so for the five of you watching, go subscribe to Newbie Comics. His uh, link is right uh, there. Please go subscribe to him if you're not already. I mean, I don't know anybody that's not subscribed to Newbie Comics. But anyways, just a quick shout out. Here's another video that is 1 minute and 35 seconds long. Let's get right into it. Mm. Eric Larson cover I'll show later. Tons of Amazing Spider-Man. This box was kind of packed, so um, I can't really show the full cover. I can only show the title. Oh. Boom. ASM 361. First print and second print right there, baby. Check that out. Come on now. More Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, we got two previews of Spider-Man 2099. That book is hard to get in a 9.8 because it's not square bound and I'm pretty sure it's like a 64 page or something crazy like that. Um, oh, 30th anniversary. Uh, plus the gold cover. Uh, getting into some Avengers here. I think I pull out one here, maybe. No? Some of those foil and the uh, embossed. Oh, West Coast Avengers, okay. I thought I had seen that cover from somewhere, but no. Oh, West Coast Avengers number 45. Right there, baby. Check that out. Come on now. What is that, like a $50 book now? That's crazy, right? Vendors of West Coast. Nice. And that's the end of the video right there. Moving on. So those are all the boxes that I went through um, after I pulled out all the keys. And the keys is that fat stack right there. Check that out. Come on now. And uh, she also had some signed copies that I actually forgot to take a picture of, but there are just some random 90s image books that she had signed, so those are right there. 
And that's that fat stack of keys, which we will get into right now. Whoops, let me zoom in. Okay. Here we go. Amazing Spider-Man 375. Let me actually check this. Okay, so we still got five viewers. Thank you for the five of you watching. I'm sorry. I'll probably do that a few times during the stream. Um, but yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 375. Awesome gold cover with that kind of hollow foil as the webbing. So you can see it's kind of rainbow there. Um, it's kind of like a hologram, I guess, but it's also the 30th anniversary, so awesome. And we got two of those issues. Next is Amazing Spider-Man number 347, classic Eric Larson cover. I've wanted this, I, I've wanted this cover for so long. It's just such an awesome cover, come on. It's, it's just so cool. Come on. Um, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know, I have no idea how much that book is uh, worth. I just pulled it out because I knew it was worth something. So, And I've never seen it in person before, so there's that. Spider-Man number one. Sorry that this uh, picture is a little bit blurry, but uh, it doesn't have a poly bag, but it's still Spider-Man number one, man. You still got that classic um, silver ink there. So cool. Love Todd McFarlane, dude. So awesome. Next is Uncanny X-Men 282 and 283. Now, um... So, Key Collector has it listed as 282 as... Okay, so get this. Key Collector has this listed as 282 being the cameo and cover appearance of Bishop and 283 being the first appearance, which I think, um... Key Collector has a bad rep for kind of um, the biased uh, opinions about the facts. It's it's like opinionated facts. Like, I mean, you can obviously tell just by looking at this cover. I mean, this uh, the one on the right, two eighty two. That uh, that is intended to be his first appearance, right there, right? You know, you know, you've got that sweet cover, you know. His name is Bishop, and he's right right in the middle there with that awesome cover. Like, ugh, come on now. Come on, Key Collector. But anyways, we got his first and second appearance right there, so there's that. Venom Lethal Protector number one, which I have in a 9.4. I thought it was going to get back a 9.8, but I was wrong. Because I hadn't even opened up the issue before because I bought it. It was like I bought it for $30 um, at a shop at, down in Orlando, I think. Uh, what's up, Arcade Pop? How's it going, man? Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Um, so I bought this issue like in Orlando, 30 bucks, and I hadn't even opened it up, right? I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the best comic ever. I kept it and I, di I didn't even open it up, dude. And just by looking at the cover, I was like, oh my gosh, there's like nothing wrong with this issue. Not this issue, but the one that I have uh, somewhere. It's somewhere back there. Um, and it, it had to have had a defect on the inside, maybe like a stain or something. But um, I hadn't even taken it out of the bag, so it could have been something on the... I don't know. Whatever. I'm still bad about that issue, though, but whatever. Sweet cover. Love that so much. Thank you, RK Pop. Appreciate you. Let's see. How many people do we have on the uh, stream now? Still five. Okay, well, thanks to the five of you still watching. I appreciate you guys. Back to the issues. Iron Man number 282. Okay. Let's talk about this cover, shall we? All right. Cover talk with Hidden Gem. All right. We're going to go into depth about this. Okay, so first of all, first appearance of War Machine. Awesome cover. So iconic, right? So first of all, you got this dark blue background with the stripes, okay? So, first of all, it's creating a focal point uh, there onto War Machine all around him. Sorry, my nose is itching. And then the Iron Man, the War Machine armor is all black and white, right? So, you know, it's only gray and black and, and white and stuff. But even the explosions are black and white, too. That It's just so awesome. And then even everything else is black and white. So, you know, the direct edition uh, down there for the 30th anniversary of Spider-Man, you know, 
and the Marvel Comics thing and the price and everything up there and the Iron Man logo is black and white and then you got that pink war machine just boom slashing right through that it's just such an iconic cover I mean how can you not love that like come on look at that right there that's just so sweet um I think I saw a lenticular of this issue before it was pretty cool but that's just so sweet it's such an awesome cover so well made I, w I wish I had that issue. I wish I'd, I wish I had it. Even just a poster of it. If I had a poster of that, then I'd I'd die a happy man for sure. Definitely. <laughs> oh, what's up? Shop for comics up in the house. What's up, man? How's it going? We're just uh, looking at this collection that my shop just bought today. That's why, you know, we're doing a special Hidden Gem episode. So, uh, just a quick fill-in right there. So, okay, all right. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number eight. So if you didn't know, this actually isn't the first appearance of the black suit, have you know? So for the uh let's see. For the five of you watching still right now, this is not the first appearance. This is the origin of the black suit. Okay, so ASM 252 is the homage to Amazing Fantasy 15. That is the actual um First appearance of the black suit. Oh, thanks, Arcade Pop. Yeah, it came today. And I assembled it. And it's very nice. And I think I can recline and everything. Let's see? So. No. Three books do not tie for first. Okay, well, first of all, no, no, no. Hold on for a second. Okay, so this book, this book was released in December of 1984. And ASM 252 was May 1984, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, May 1984. I don't know about that Marvel team-up issue. I don't know when that came out, but I remember that I once had... Um, this was just a few weeks ago. I had Secret Wars 8 side-by-side -side with ASM 252. I opened it up. I looked at the date and everything. The uh, Secret Wars came out in December, and 252 came out in May, so, yeah. But, yeah, common misconception, just look inside, people. Just look inside, I'm just telling you, so. Sorry, sorry, shop, that I just kind of uh, went ham on you there, but. Uh, Marvel Team of 141, Spectacular Spider-Man 90. Spectacular Spider-Man 90, what? Oh, shoot. Okay, well, let's show this up here. What is this? Oh, I think I've seen that cover before. I have... Oh, I, did, I haven't heard that one before, though. That's interesting. Huh. Well, still, thanks for the five of you still watching. And, okay, yeah, Marvel Team 141, okay. And more, okay, yeah. Well, anyways, why can't they just make it simple for us? Like, come on. Like, there should just be some sort of, like, official list that just, like, come on. I just want to know the first appearance of the black suit, please. Thank you. Next up, New Mutants 87. Um, first appearance of Cable, awesome, um, awesome cover by Liefeld and McFarlane. Dude, Liefeld and McFarlane totally owned the 90s, dude, for sure. Um, such a sweet cover, come on. I think uh, Liefeld did the uh, pencils for this, for sure. Pencils and inks. And uh, McFarlane did the colors, I think, for sure. Because Liefeld... Uh, I, I don't know. They're very similar. It's in the mouths, for sure. They do very similar mouths. But uh, Liefeld draws his uh, faces kind of more narrow with the tinier noses, kind of. But that cable is so sweet, for sure. 
So yeah, I, I def and he he's got the huge shoulder pads. Like uh, McFarland does not do that. That's the Lithos thing. So, anyways, awesome cover. I don't know how much this is worth. Maybe I'm gonna assume like maybe around eighty dollars. I'm gonna guess. I haven't searched it up before because I've never even seen one in person before. But, anyways, awesome cover. Oh man, X Force number two, second appearance of Deadpool. While we're on the uh, Liefeld train here, this has to be one of the best Liefeld covers in his career for sure. So underrated for sure. I don't care what you guys say about uh, Liefeld. I personally think he's a great artist. For I mean, he's self-taught. He never went to uh, art school. So for a self-taught artist, artist, he's his great his art is so awesome. Look at this. So first of all, you got the X in the background for X Force with the different X Force people in the background, right? Um, and the so I feel like Liefeld's um, characters most of the time are kind of stiff and bulky, but this is this cover like the bodies have so much um, fluidity. Is that a word? Fluidity. It's like they're they're so fluid, you know. It's very dynamic, so it just it's just kind of leading down to Deadpool there. So his whole body is just kind of like straight down. Kind of you got that arm and goes boom, boom, boom down to Deadpool right there. Second appearance of Deadpool. If you uh, don't know, so awesome, such a cool cover, and we've also been streaming for twenty minutes so far. So I would I just went to check that, but anyways, awesome cover. Come on. Infinity War number one, two, three, four, and f five and six. Um, just thought that was cool. They have the whole set there. Um, pretty sure that they had um, in the Infinity Gauntlet um, whole series except for five, I think. But uh, yeah, so cool, uh, cool set there. Hmm, Fantastic Four, two seventy three. First appearance of Nathaniel Richards. Got two of these issues, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Um, this was a big spec book for a while. I saw it on Newbie's channel, which, by the way, if you're not subscribed, go subscribe to him in the chat right there. First link up there, so subscribe to Newbie. Um, but yeah, so I I always I'm always able to spot that out. Um, that uh, not many people are aware about. I mean, let me rephrase that. Not many um, people who bring in their collections are aware about, but yeah. Spawn and Batman number one, Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. Excuse me, what? Frank Miller and Todd the God McFarlane. Oh my gosh, look at that awesome cover. Look at that awesome cover. So sweet. And Gary B, the casual comic guy, is live with Nick's Kicks and Comics. So, yeah, it is sick, Arcade Pop. Anyways, yeah. Next issue Iron Man 283, second appearance of War Machine. Plus, that's the newsstand as well. Awesome cover as well. Boom! Coming right at you at supersonic speed. All right. Marvel Comics presents number 117, first battle between Wolverine and, uh, and, and Venom. That's such a sweet cover, bro. Check that out. Oh my gosh. I wish this chair, like, would... I wish I would be able to, like, automatically, like, rock back without having to... Like, recline it. Like, I wish it would, uh... Whatever. Anyways. Beggars can't be choosers. Alright, sweet cover. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome venom right there. Next up, X-Men number four. First appearance of Omega Red. I picked up my copy for $20. Uh, pretty mid-grade uh, for me. I think it's like a... Gonna guess like a, a 6.0 around. For my copy, I bought for 20 bucks, but these are clean copies. Uh, they have to be at least um, 
have to be at least, I'm going to say, at least 9.2s, I'm going to say. I looked at them, but they're pretty clean, so. Yeah, awesome cover as well. Amazing Spider-Man 365. Um, with that holly, my phone is just blowing up with YouTube notifications right now. Everybody is streaming right now. But thanks for the three of you still watching. But, uh, let me put this on, uh, do not disturb real quick. Okay. Also, this hat, this is, it's a super thick book as well. So, um, the spine is usually always, um torn you know like just one flip of the cover and like that thing is done you know it's like that's done for the day you know uh like and the corners are usually uh blunted or frayed uh but anyways it's a preview of spider-man 2099 it says it right there five page preview of spider-man 2099 there are so many previews of twin of the spider-man 2099 and then the spider-man 2099 number one which is the first real official appearance and origin of him is still like just like a five dollar book <laughs> it's like you had all this hype leading up to this character like there's no value left in him uh but anyways awesome cover i love that hologram west coast avengers number 45 okay i gotta check the uh, ebay prices for this and apparently youtube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming as such viewers will experience buffering Sorry if you're experienced buffering, but uh, let's go to eBay real quick. Oh, shoot. Not how far away is the moon. That was my last Google search. <laughs> eBay.com, let's go. Uh, West Coast Avengers 45. Let's see. We got. Of course, you got to go to sold listings, of course. Uh, let's see, where is that? Is there somewhere? Um, oh, 76, 41. Wait, is ours our newsstand? Is that a newsstand? No, it's direct. Okay. 45, 30, uh, 32, 50, 30, 50. Okay. Uh, oh, dang. Sorry you're experiencing uh, buffering, man. Sorry about that. Uh, that was my uh, thingy. Yeah, sorry about that, bro. Uh, so, yeah, it's between a $30 to $50 book. And this is in great condition as well. So Next up, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 265. Uh, these are 9.8s for sure. First appearance of Silver Sable. But these two are the second printing. First of all, you can tell by um, the um, silver ink, by the way. Usually it's just a, you know, plain white background, but um, it's silver. And also, it also says uh, representing the first appearance of Silver Sable up there. So it's the second, second printing. Uh, so it's like a $15 book or something like that. But first... Uh, the first printing of this is like, I don't know, like a 30 to $40 book, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, got two of those. Boom, baby. ASM 361. So, this first one up here is the first print, and this one back here is the second print. You can tell because this has the silver ink. Um, it's not a foil. It's the silver ink to make it look shiny. So, first print up there... What is that, like a $150 book? It's in fantastic condition. Look at that. Look at that spine, baby. Look at that. Check that out. Come on now. Like, you can see a little bit, a little tear right there. And that corner is a little uh, chip right there. But, I mean, come on now. That looks pretty good to me, right? So, boom. Boom, X-Factor number six. First appearance of Apocalypse. My throat is getting a little sore. Um, uh, 
Um, awesome cover, first of all. See, this is the type of first appearance covers I like to see. It says, and now, Apocalypse. Like, you can tell that this is the first appearance of him. It's like, oh my gosh, this is this new character we've never seen before. Like, cameos are, I'm like, I'm fine with cameos and everything, but, like, you can ac actually tell that this is the first appearance of Apocalypse, you know? Like, not, like, something like, uh, like this. I mean, this cover is fine. You know, representing the first appearance of Silver Sable, that's okay, but... Whatever, anyways. Also, this hand right here is sticking out. Like, it's, like, the perspective of that. I didn't even notice that. Like, his hand is bigger, and it's overlapping that, so... Whatever. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Next up, two issues of Spawn number one. These have been going for pretty high numbers on eBay. I'm pretty sure... Like, I saw a sale for, like, 40 bucks for a raw copy, but, yeah. These are clean copies as well. I love this cover. Such an awesome uh, McFarlane cover for sure. Um, the thing is that I love that McFarlane does his characters kind of sketchy and um, more like more for comp. Like when you think, I think of comics, I think of Tom McFarlane and uh, his style, you know? And uh, like the gradients are a little too smooth for me. Uh, but it's still an awesome cover nonetheless, so. Ooh, Marvel Milestone Editions. All right, so we got Amazing Fantasy 15, Marvel Milestone, Fantastic Four, number one, and X-Men, number one. So I'm pretty sure I have the Incredible Hulk, number one, from my Marvel Milestone. I'm pretty sure that was like 12 bucks. I'm pretty sure. is 12 or $14, I think. So I can't even imagine what... Uh, like that Fantastic Four number one would be. I'm going to assume at least 20 bucks. That's my guess, but I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so we're actually uh, getting close to the end here. Um, but this is the Sensational She-Hulk number 60. Uh, this is the last issue. So basically, I think at the as the first, the first issue of this, um, she was like, um, oh, I can't remember. It was like, you better buy this comic or also rip up all your X-Men comics, you know? And, um, apparently the, they weren't selling enough copies, uh, and they had to end the series. And she's like, okay, kids, we had a deal now. Hand over those X-Men comics. <laughs> uh, see, and you've got that infinite comic there, you know? You, she's Hulk, she Hulk number 60. And, uh, that's the first appearance of her there so yeah and this is the final issue yes it is this is the final hidden gem this wasn't in her um this wasn't in the uh collection but uh i had priced um a few short boxes after afterwards and uh this was just a cool cover that i found um yeah, sorry, Jager. Yeah, I know. We'll still um, still unpack one of these. So, anyways, Wolverine number five. Is that number five? Yeah. No, it's number three. Wolverine number three with that sweet Marvel Zombies variant. That is just so cool. So cool with the blood dripping down and the green. Oh my gosh, so cool. So cool. And that's the end. Oh my gosh. I almost just broke my favorite mug. I got this for Christmas. It says, I have issues. Like, comic book issues, get it? You know, it has a ton of different comic books on it. Uh, I almost just broke that, so. Thank you for my ultra-fast uh, spidey sense there. Thanks for the three of you still watching right now. We've been streaming for 35 minutes. This is the end of the stream, which means that we get to unpack another one of these wacky packages. Let's do it, baby. So, um, let's hope that we don't get any doubles. But, um, let me, uh, yeah, here we go. My hands are super sweaty. I don't know why, but we're going to try to get this lid open. Here we go. 
So this first one, they, they give you a preview of uh, one just out of the bag. So instead of grape nuts, it's grape nuts. <laughs> there, let's see if it'll focus for us. Here, maybe if I show up my mug again, then it'll, uh, it'll focus for us, please. There we go, okay. So grape nuts, uh, it's pretty funny. Pretty sweet. Now let's see, we got a, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I got this. Okay, so we got a sticker here. It's called Bling Pop. Oh my gosh. Oh, it just focused there. I saw that. Bling Pop, can it focus, please? No? But, uh, let's see here. Anyways, whatever. It says Bling Pop. It's got a dog on it. It says Blue Snazzberry. Jewelry candy for flashy little dogs. <laughs> oh, Bling Pup. Not Bling Pop. Yeah, lots of issues, right? Yeah. Oh, see, so yeah, nice sticker there. Of course, we've got our checklist and everything. First pack, here we go. Okay, so this is called Ill-Tempered Sneer. I have no idea what um, that is uh, in, like a uh, knockoff of. I assume it's like a dish detergent or like a, like a laundry detergent thing. So we got that. And I don't know where I put my, oh, here we go. Next pack, here we go. Shoot, come on now. Don't fail on me now, here we go. Oh, okay, so we got another one of these ticks. Ticks box there. It's like supposed to be tricks, but it's ticks, so. Pretty cool, I already got that one. Maybe I'll throw that in one of the giveaway winners uh, boxes there. If I remember, since I've got a double. <laughs> snots. Instead of dots, it's snots. Check that out. Okay, you got to see this one. Here we go. Let's see here. There we go. Snots right there. Ton of little boogers right there. That's hilarious. All right, last one. Let's make it a good one. Here we go. This is five of five. All right. Oh my gosh, bald aid instead of band aid. Okay, so let's get this to focus here for us. It says bald aid there. Let's see here. Come on now. Dang it. All right, whatever. That's hilarious. I love that so much. All right, back into the box. There you go. That sticker is pretty sweet. I'll save that as well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Please, if you haven't already, please go subscribe to Newbie Comics. His link is right in the chat right there. I just put it in. Um, And yeah, so I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. I'm streaming every day this week, so I might as well just do another stream tomorrow. Don't know what I'm going to be uh, doing for my video on Saturday, but I'm going to do something special. Um, but anyways, see you tomorrow. I'm going to continue my drawing, hopefully, that I've been working on. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and share the channel to anyone that you know. Let's get to that 400 subscriber mark. That's right. We're at 361. 39 more until the 400 subscriber giveaway. So go share and make sure that you subscribe. Thank you. See ya.